Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do reviews on The Bold and the Beautiful. Okay, we're going to go on over the one that aired on today, November the 8th, 2017, Season 31, Episode 38. Okay, we have Liam and Sally. They're at the hospital getting diagnosed from the doctor and sharing a moment with one another together. So of course, both of them thinking they pretty much have broken bones, this, that, and the third. they real sick or whatever. And the doctor said, oh, you just got a little scrapes, bumps here and there, minor hair fracture, this, that, and the third. But y'all gonna be fine. Y'all gonna be fine. It's a whole lot of people in the hall waiting to see y'all. So they kind of like disgusted it and they want a little bit of privacy for themselves so they can pretty much talk about what actually happened when they thought they both were dying. <clears throat> so then we have Sally is forcing Liam to think about what they shared while being trapped in the building. Then Steffi comes in and hugs Liam to pieces while Sally looks on. Okay, it's her husband, Sally, not yours. So back up. Then we have Grams and Saul are getting on Bill about his dealings with the building being blown up and him not really checking to see was anybody still in there. And, of course, he's looking at them like death warmed over, like he just want to choke all of them, you know, to death. But he goes on and try to, you know, play the bigger picture, be the big, bigger man, and say, hey, everything's going to be taken care of, this, that, and third. Y'all going to have another beautiful building, but it's just not going to be bare. And they're looking at him like he's crazy. <laughs> like, this is definitely not the time to be trying to talk about what you're trying to give us after you basically tried to kill Sally and Liam, literally. So Bill's kind of disgusted. He don't really want to talk to them anymore, but he go on and let them say what they got to say. Then Bill is trying to talk with Sally's crew again about they ain't losing nothing, they gaining, and he's, you know, footing the bill. But they're not really understanding, and they don't want to talk to him, really. But, you know... It just is what it is when it comes to Bill. Bill thinks he can get everything, and he tries to keep that at bay. Well, not at bay, but basically, he tries to keep his word that when he says he's going to get something, what he uh, really want, he's going to get it regardless, okay? Even if death plays a role in it. He's a serious businessman, okay? Don't ever cross Bill Spencer. Then we got Liam. Liam and Sally are looking at Bill while he comes into the room. Like, hey, you don't need to be in here. You're the reason why we're here. But he wants to come see how they are doing. And if looks could kill, the looks that Sally and Liam gave Bill, man, he'll be sliced up like deli sliced ham that you can put on your uh, sandwich, hoagie, or whatever you want to make when you try to make a cold cut. Because they sliced him up. I mean, it was just like stone cold ice stairs going on. And I was just trying to figure out who's going to blink first. <laughs> to try to, you know, break some of the monotony up. And all the tension that was, you know, you could cut the tension with a knife. Okay. But it just is what it is. Okay. Then we have Katie is uh, wanting Brooke to go over to see Bill at the hospital. They having their little girl talk, sister talk, whatever. And Brooke is asking her about Wyatt. But Katie is feeling some kind of uneasy with that conversation. And she's beating around the bush and she just throws it back on Bill. You know, we need to focus on Bill and how he's doing at this time. So then we go back to the hospital where Bill is trying to make amends with Sally and Liam. And Steph is trying to get Sally and Liam to make amends with Bill. But they're like, uh-uh, you put our life on the line. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this predicament. So they're still kind of holding on to that truth. Then Liam is sticking to his guns. He's not forgiving his dad for his actions and almost costing him and Sally their lives. Bill walks out of the room for now because he don't want to take, he don't really want to face what he actually did. He's stubborn. He's bullheaded. He's dollar dollar bill. And in his eyes, he don't really feel he did anything. But nothing's going to be gained because Liam tore him a new behind and basically told him to get out. He didn't want to see him. He didn't have no business there in the first place. So then we have Grams is ready to talk to Sally about going home. And Saul is asking Grams 
uh, while they're in the room with Sally and Liam looking on. You didn't pay with that phony credit card, did you? She said, oh, no, 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 I didn't do that. She said that the nurse had told them that Bill Spencer had paid all the um, fees or hospital costs and they can go. So I was like, oh, one way, Graham, you own Bill by almost killing your niece. Then you're going to like sing his praises because he don't pay the bill fully up. <laughs> I'm like, come on, come on, Grams. Which side are you really on? Then we have Liam and Steph are at home. They don't finally made it home. Uh, Sally's still at the hospital thinking about Liam. I'm like, girl, if you don't get your behind out there hospital, get dressed, get on, okay? Liam is a married man, okay? But then Stephen and uh, Liam were sharing some thoughts about the whole ordeal and that they wouldn't be in that mess if he didn't care so much about taking up for Sally. And she really still thinks Sally's a lost cause. Sally ain't number trouble. Uh, they're higher than Stephen. I mean, they're higher than Sally, and Liam needs to stop uh, dealing with trash, pretty much, is what she's saying. They don't have no reason to be associating with a thief, a liar, and whatever stuff he wants to throw at um, Sally for being. And Liam is just looking like he's appalled at her even thinking the way she's thinking. After Bill, his father, with all the money, all the cash, and all of that, has done to her and he, he just not understanding what uh Steffi is coming from and he's trying to enlighten her as well as feel empathetic as well as sympathetic to her concerns but he, you know he might might need to give her a little uh tearing her a little behind too but i don't know Liam's flaky like that he get married he get divorced he get married he get divorced just like that old man had told him when he was taking um what's her name God, I can't think of Ivy back to um, Australia before he hit his head and stuff. The man told him, you don't need to be married. You really don't. You just love too many women. You get involved with too many women. Then you don't know what to do. And Lord and mercy, that has come to pass once again because he was kissing on Sally. When he had no business kissing on her, no, he didn't. He was supposed to keep hope alive. <laughs> And not think that he was going to be ending his life. So he had to get his groove on with anybody for the very last time. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, moving on from there. Um, we have, let me see. Steph is trying to tell them, Bill did feel remorseful for his actions. And if you could have saw the expression he had on his face when he found out that you and Sally were still in the building, I would. I wanted to say you. Was that a Kodak moment? Was that priceless? Should you have taken a picture so Liam could actually see his father's expression? Because right now Liam ain't feeling it, and he don't care what his daddy looked like. He only knows the building blew up. Bill was responsible for that building blowing up, and they could have died. That's all he's leaning to. And then we have Brooke. Brooke comes over to see Bill. Bill, yes, had finally gotten home because he know that nobody want him at the hospital. He need to have went and took a bath, but he's drinking, trying to get himself stable. And, you know, he's still just talking a lot of mess, even to Brooke. And Brooke was just over there to just, you know, lend him an ear, a shoulder to cry on something. He just kind of got downright ugly with Brooke. And, um, like I said, she came over to see him, talk things through. Uh, she's asking Bill, you actually blew the building up knowing somebody could have been inside of the building? You didn't check? You just blew them up? So, of course, uh, Brooke is thinking Bill is kind of heartless at this time. And he's only thinking about himself. Everybody else is just secondary. And she's not understanding his actions, his demeanor, or anything. And Bill is downright disgusted with her because he's like, you're supposed to be taking, uh, being on my side, not their side. Bill is asking Brooke for a clean slate. He said he has one with Liam. This, that, and third. I'm like, no, you had one with Liam. That is the choice word, had, past tense. Because you and Liam and Sally are not on good terms, okay? And I don't see how y'all can repair this. Uh, unless you back up, back out of that deal, and put your skyscraper somewhere else, okay? But um, 
Bill and Brooke get into it again. Brooke looks at him with a surprising type of look like, you just hadn't learned anything, have you? Me leaving you, uh, telling you how you just don't have compassion or empathy or sympathy for people. And you wonder why I'm divorcing you. I'm, I'm putting our marriage to an annulment. You, you still don't understand? So Bill tears into Brooke. He tells her he loves her and he always will. Brooke tried to tell Bill he needs to be a more humble man to be more like Liam. He said, Liam need to be more like me. I don't need to be like Liam. Liam weak. You know, didn't really say that, but that's basically what he was trying to say. I'm strong. He needs to learn a thing or two from me. Brooke tells Bill about being compassion. Having compassion. Bill tells Brooke about being there for him. But Bill just don't understand it. He, he just wants to be mean. He wants to be evil. And hopefully something can come and change his way of thinking before he loses it all. And he loses his mind as well. Then we got Steffi tells Liam that Sally and her crew are trouble. And she hugs Liam because she knows he wouldn't cheat on her. Even though she had it had come across her mind, would he ever? But she said, no, I got faithful Liam. Liam's never would do that to me. And she gives him a hug. And I'm like, girl, if you only knew. They thought they were dying. So they did to the do. Not fully, but you know, they lips locked. Okay. Then we got Sally still at the hospital. And she's thinking about Liam. While Liam is at home on the sofa, coated up with Steffi, thinking about her and what she's doing. Now, is that not a Twilight Zone type of scenario we've gotten ourselves into? On the bold and the beautiful, I tell you. Can't wait till tomorrow's episode. Y'all be there with me. I'll be taping it. I'll be giving y'all my perspective. And we can get in those comments and discuss them once again. But y'all, that was the bold and the beautiful that aired for November the 8th, 2017. We'll talk to you about, um, we'll come back and talk with you about the one that will air tomorrow. All right, y'all have a great week. I'm mean, not week. In, but have a good night if you're getting this in the morning have a good morning and i'll talk to you soon thank you bye bye